Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and guys it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series based on section of solids. So let's see what the problem has in store. Here we go. It goes like this, a cylinder of 40 mm diameter, 60 mm length and having its axis vertical is cut by a section plane perpendicular to the VP, inclined at 45 degrees to the HP and intersecting the axis 32 mm above the base. Draw its front view, sectional top view, sectional side view and true shape of the section. So whole lot of things are to be drawn and initially we're going to be extracting data from this entire description. So the object in this case is nothing but a cylinder having base diameter as 40 and the height of the cylinder can be taken as 60. All right. Now the condition is that its axis is vertical. Now if the just think about this guys, if the axis is vertical, then definitely the base circular base I'm talking about is going to be horizontal. And what we're going to be assuming is that the cylinder is resting with its base on the horizontal plane. Now guys, just think about this. If the cylinder is resting with its base on HP horizontal plane, then the true shape of the base can only be seen from the top. And hence we will be beginning by making the top view first and then its corresponding front view is going to be made. So all of these things are going to be happening in a few minutes from now, basically. So let's go ahead and write down this condition perpendicular to VP or assume it resting with its base on HP. All right. Now let's write down the details associated with the cutting plane, cutting plane details. Now it's an auxiliary inclined plane. Now this sort of a plane AIP is inclined to the horizontal plane and at the same time is perpendicular to the VP. Okay. And it is intersecting the axis 32 mm above the base, 32 mm above the base. All right. At the same time, maintaining an angle of 45 degrees. So we're going to be making sure that all these details appear perfectly in our drawing. So guys, stay tuned as in the next section, I'm going to show you as to how the object has been really kept, what happens when it is being cut by a cutting plane and let's see how all of this eventually works out. So guys, this is the object cylindrical object and you can see over here, I have a cutting plane. Let me zoom on this slightly, um, something like this. Yeah, pretty good. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be shifting this cutting plane slightly below. Okay. Something like this. And you can clearly see that this is the portion being cut. All right. Now let me zoom on this slightly. Okay. Pretty good. Now you can clearly see that this cutting plane in fact is making an angle of 45 degree. All right. 45 degree with the horizontal plane. And at the same time it is passing through the entire cylinder. And one more thing that I would like to tell you is when you try to look at this uh, entire scenario from the front, it's going to look something like this. This plane, in fact, this cutting plane will look like a line. Okay. And I'm going to show you how that can be done. When you look at this object from the top, it's going to look something like this. Okay. This section, this blue color portion that you're going to see will appear like a circle from the top. And when you look at this object from the left hand side, it's going to look something like this. All right. Again, you're going to see a circle. All right. Now let me, let me go back to the 3d view of this isometric view of this. And this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be creating the top view. We're going to be creating the front view and we're going to be creating the left hand side view as well as the true shape of section. And for watching the true shape, let me show this again to you for having the true shape of this section, that blue colored portion. Let me show you that once again, this blue colored portion that I'm talking about, um, you have to look at this from over here. Okay. Absolutely perpendicular to this cutting plane from over here. If you see, then you're going to get the true shape. All right. Now let's head over to PowerPoint and let's see how all of this can be worked out on a plain sheet of paper or on a drawing sheet. So guys, initially we're going to kick off by making an XY line. So let's just do that. And as I already told you that the cylinder is resting with its base on HP and hence the true shape of that base can only be seen from the top. This is why we're going to make the top view first, which is in fact a circle of 40 millimeter tire. Now we're going to be dividing this circle initially into four equal parts, something like this. And then four parts can be done eight parts like this. Okay. Now let's provide numbers to each and every part over here. Let's start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Now let's go ahead and make the corresponding front view. All right. Now, in the front view, you're going to be seeing the height of the cylinder. The, this cylinder is uh, having a height of how much? It's 60, I suppose. Yeah, it's 60. All right. So this is going to be 60 above the XY line. That's the height of the cylinder. Now let's go ahead and project more lines so that this point corresponds to one dash. This point over here corresponds to two dash comma eight dash. This over here corresponds to three dash comma seven dash like this. All right, fine. 
um let's go ahead and do something else what about the cutting plane so there is a cutting plane which is at a height of 32 mm from the base so 32 mm above the base and on the axis we're going to be having a point through which a cutting plane would be passing and also making an angle of 45 degrees something like this okay so the portion of that cutting plane inside the solid has to be thin dash dot line and the portion of that cutting plane outside the solid has to be thick dash dot lines there you go now the next thing to do is to place the cutting points now you can clearly see guys uh, this generator okay this generator through one is intersected has been intersected over here so this point is corresponds to point a dash okay now over here it appears as if there is only one generator rather there are two generators from two and from eight also in the top you can see there is a generator right in front and there is a generator right at the back so we have two generators hence we're going to be having two intersection points so here we're going to be having b and c or b dash and c dash and similarly here you're going to be having d dash e dash uh, f dash g dash and h dash and something like this so we're going to be having as many as let's see a b c d e f g h okay and you can clearly see that the portion of this solid falling immediately below this cutting plane has been darkened all right that is something you need to uh, keep in mind all right now we're going to go ahead and make the sectional top view and let's see how that can be done now this point when you look at this object from over here from the top this point a dash will appear here along with one so initially you're going to be watching this point point a and below a will be point one so here we're going to write a simply a now again when you try to look at this entire scenario from the top there is going to be point b and below b there will be two below then there is going to be C and below C there is going to be 8. So over here I am going to be writing B and over here C. Similarly here along with 3 we have D along with 7 we have E. Similarly we have uh, F with 4 and G with 6 and finally we have this H along this generator through this base point 5 and we are going to write here H. All right. So when you join all these points, it would again appear like a circle from the top. Okay. So this section in fact looks like a circle and the hatching will be done in this way. There you go. So that is what you call the sectional top view. Now we'll now go ahead and make the sectional side view or to be very precise, we're going to be making the sectional left hand side view. And for that, I'm going to have to draw a line vertical line from here. And this is what you call the X1 Y1 line. All right. Now let's project the points in the right hand side direction let's turn them by an angle of 45 degrees uh, let's draw vertical lines from all these points like this let's have a horizontal line from all these points over here there you go now we're gonna have to find the intersection points now let us have the base points so what basically we're trying to do is we're looking at this object from over here from the left hand side to its extreme left we're gonna have this point 7 then 8 then 1 then 2 then 3 so 7 8 1 2 3 let's have them okay now one thing that i would like to show you this along with this 8 i have also written 6 just because this point 6 immediately falls behind this 8 when you look at this over from here okay and along with 1 i have written 5 so 5 is exactly behind 1 and along with 4 uh, 2 i have written 4 so 4 is exactly behind 2 that's why now let's go ahead and fit in these points so a point will be somewhere along this line horizontal line so if you try to work out the exact position of point a it's gonna be somewhere here so this is the a i'm talking about from here here and here so this is the intersection point a double dash similarly all the remaining points can be worked out okay like this and again as i've already shown you on that 3d representation in solidworks software um doesn't matter from where you're watching be it from the top or from the side you're gonna see a circular sort of a section all right and now let's do the hatching of this portion something like this all right guys now we're gonna go ahead and make the true shape of the section for having the true shape of the section we're gonna have to look at this object from over here okay uh, so for having the true shape let's have a plane so that's the plane i'm talking about this is the x1 y1 plane onto which the image of this section will be taken now the next thing to do is to have perpendicular lines drawn from all these cutting points from a b dash c dash d dash e dash and so on like this now please make sure guys that the angle over here should work out as 90 degrees okay so basically 
to do this you can keep your mini drafter one scale of your mini drafter over here so that the other scale is absolutely perpendicular and then you can go ahead and draw these lines in this direction all right now in order to have all these cutting points from a to h over here what we need to do is we need to take keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here okay with that much amount as the radii okay so point a is gonna be over here so with this as the center put an arc over here and you're gonna get point a that's it now watch this again keep one leg of your compass here and we're gonna be locating point c let me tell you keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here at c okay now with this is the center put an arc that's point c watch this again keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here with that much amount as the radii then you're gonna take this as the center again and you're gonna put an arc and that's point b similarly keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here at e then go in this direction this direction there you go with this much as the center put an arc and that's point e similarly all the remaining points can be worked out and there you go and that is something that you're gonna see and finally when you join all these points in proper sequence uh, with the help of a smooth curve you're gonna get the true shape which in fact is nothing but an ellipse and hatching of that portion also has to be done something like this all right and this is what you call the true shape of the section um, this is front view sectional side view and top view so that was all from my side guys if you have any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below and guys if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates and do subscribe so that all of you get intimated get informed whenever i upload a new video so this is banas patnak signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing